Hey folks, I'm Red Falcon, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use a standard account in Windows 7. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take a look at the existing accounts that are built in to Windows. So if you go to Start, go up to Computer, right click and go to Manage. Now whenever you see this shield here, that means that you need administrative access. And I'm running a default version, uh, default installation of Windows 7, which means I have one user account that's an admin, so I won't uh, actually get prompted for anything. Okay, so go to Users and Groups, go to Users. So whenever you see a little down arrow, that means the account's disabled. So uh, much to my surprise, the administrator and the guest account are both disabled. That's something that I'm pretty sure didn't happen in Windows XP or um, very early versions of Windows 7. I could be wrong. And here's my account. This is the account I created during um, the uh, uh, installation process. And over here is the group user, home group user account. Now, if you look over here at the description, it's a built-in account for home group access to the computer. So there's two things you can do with this. If you think you're never going to use the home group feature, which includes features like file sharing and printer sharing, you can go ahead and right click on it and go to properties and go ahead and disable the account. Or if this is something you might use in the future, but you're not entirely sure, what I would do is I would go ahead and right click and do set a password and create a new password for it. And go ahead and click OK. But that's up to you. Uh, I would do one of those two things. All right. So the reason we want to not use an administrator account is um, laid out in a previous video that I did. did a whole slideshow on it. But basically, um, from a practical standpoint, I've got this um, installation for Firefox. And if I run this currently, I'll get this security warning first. And then all I get for all I get is this UAC prompt. And all I have to do is click yes or no, and then that opens up the installer. What I want to happen is when I double click on this, I want to be prompted for the admin credentials for this computer before the installation will continue. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create an account for this administrator user. So if you go to start, go over to control panel, and go ahead and click on user accounts and family safety. Um, add, remove user accounts. Note the shield there. This is something an admin only an admin can do. And you'll see that there are currently two accounts listed. Uh, my account that I created during uh, the installation process and this guest account which is off by default. You do not want to turn this on so leave it off. And over here we want to click on create a new account. So this is where we'll put in an account name. So I'm going to call it sudo um, because that's a Linux command that's used to elevate a standard user to a administrative user. And for account type, I want to go and choose administrator, uh, which means that this account will be able to install software, access system files, and all that. I'll click a create account. And you'll see now we have administrator. But if you notice, if you look at my account, it says that it's password protected, so we have to set a password for it. So if you click on it, and go ahead and choose create password. Now you want this password to be different from the password that um, you're going to be using for your standard account. And over here is a password hint. I usually put none or NA and then click create password. So now you'll see that it's an administrator and it's password protected. So the last thing we need to do is we need to downgrade this account to a standard account. So if you go to manage account we're back to the list of accounts now. We go to my account. And over here should be change account type right here. Click on that. And it already has standard user selected because I was um, an administrator before. So click standard user, change account type. And you'll see now that I'm a now you'll see that I'm a standard user. So go back here, we've got the standard user, which I'm going to be using for my computer, and we have an administrative account that can install applications and will be invoked whenever I want to install um, some software. So these changes won't take effect until I restart the computer. I'm sorry, log off then log back in. You could also restart too, but for the sake of time, we're just going to log off. So go to start, click this little arrow here, do log off. 
you'll notice now there's my account and additional there additionally there's a um, the administrator account you should never have to log into this account just because there's you shouldn't run as an administrator unless you're just uh, installing a piece of software now there might be some circumstances where you want to be an administrator account or you want to be on the administrator account if you have to um, there's a particular application that needs um, has special requirements but for the most part you're gonna be using your standard account so we're gonna click here put in my password log in so now when I go to double click on this so um, software installation I'll be prompted for of course the standard security warning and now I'm asked to put in the admin password yes and there I go. So what's happening in the background is I'm running as a standard user which can install software and the operating system knows that when I try to install a piece of software it knows I can't install the software so it will look for accounts that are eligible for installation which in this case is only one and then it will ask for the credentials for that account. Once those account credentials are put in correctly it will then run this application which it's a setup application as that user. Um, which means if there are any options on the installer that says, um, like a checkbox that says only install this software for me, that means you'll have to actually log in as the administrator to use it, and you'll always want to choose the option that says install for all users on this computer. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And uh, thank you for watching, and be safe out there.